I think I'm in focus. I hope I'm in focus. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I'm back with a new video for you. I really haven't vlogged anything like taking you out anywhere like with the camera, you know what I'm saying? But I have a new video, so that's cool, right? So today I thought I would just kind of chit chat with you all, kind of let y'all know what's poppin'. And as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be trying some food today from TryTreats.com. Link is in the description box. It's not sponsored or anything, but they do send me a free box every month. This one was from last month I haven't gotten into it yet um, I was gonna film a video on my main channel for it I just haven't had the time so I was gonna do it now because they're already sending me one for this month so that's cool free food right so basically if you don't know what tritreats.com it is it is a website that sends you food every single month it's a subscription box and in every single month it's like from a different part of the country so you can get like from i've gotten croatia i've gotten france before this one i'm not sure what it is because i haven't opened it yet that's why i have these scissors right here if you're wondering i'm not crazy i promise so we are gonna find out together by the way if you hear any like type of buzzing or something there is a flying insect here in my room somewhere and it just does not want to leave like i've tried to leave my door open and kind of like shush it out but it's just not going anywhere i legit just finished filming a video for my main channel and it was just the here like hanging out with me and i mean that's cool and all but i just needed to be silent you know so this is what it looks like when you get your box uh, mine is taped up and i just cut it open Let's see. Oh, if i can open it here we go so basic you know um subscription box kind of feel it has the tissue paper whatnot it does come with a postcard to let you know like where your slime is coming from your slime oh my god where your food is coming from i'm addicted to slime i'm sorry so this one is actually from moscow how cool is that it says uh moscow russia so that's pretty cool i'm excited i haven't eaten anything besides breakfast today and I've been working really hard packing orders, making slime and stuff, so I am starving. Hopefully there is some goodness up in here. Ooh, okay, all right. So it comes with this um, little thing. Uh, it's like a little card that just has basic facts about Russia. It says explore Russia, you know, do you know this, do you know that? I'm not interested in that right now because I just want food. It has this little card here that shows what you get in the actual subscription box because sometimes the food is like in foreign languages and if you don't speak that language, you're not gonna know what it is. So it does have a like brief description of every type of food item that is in here. So that is cool. So this is what the box looks like here. Hopefully the camera is focusing on it. There are a bunch of treats up in there and I'm really excited to try them all. Literally one just fell, but I'll pick it up. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the ones that are falling out of the box because it fell, rude. Um, they look like little cookies. Let's see what they are really. Looks could be deceiving, so you just never know. By the way, the postcards that I get, I always put them up on my wall, like by my little magnet board. I'll show y'all at the end of the video. Um, I do keep these because I think they're pretty cute. Hopefully you can see, I'm totally not lying. I have the one from Paris and I have the postcard from Croatia here. And I think I'm gonna put the one from Russia like right next to this one here, like up there somewhere. I don't know, I have to find a place for it. There's my little peach, she's so cute, isn't she? And the little unicorn, you know, yeah. It's motivation, you know, because I want to travel around the world. I haven't been outside of the U.S., but I've been to actually a lot of, like, states in the U.S., so that's cool. And there's, like, 16 more days till I get to see my brother in San Diego because he joined the uh, military. He's in the Marines. I almost forgot what branch he joined. Um, so we're going to go see him in San Diego, and that's going to be really cool. I'm really excited because I missed that fool. I love him. Mm-mm. Okay. If I wasn't in my room right now, I would just spit it out because it I don't like that. <laughs> that is gross. Oh my god. I did not like that, y'all. I don't have water around me or anything. I don't like that at all. Disgusting. It, okay, let me just explain it to you. So it starts off very like salty, like super salty. Saltier than a potato chip, which is like really salty. And then, like, once you get, like, once you crunch it up and stuff in your mouth and, like, chew it, it's sweet. It was gross. I'm giving these away. I don't like that mess. Okay, so next we're moving on to these chip-looking things. They almost look like Cheetos to me, and I freaking love Cheetos, so I hope they're, like, cheese-flavored or something. These are Ruzik Corn Sticks by Provilno Patani. I totally messed that up, I'm sure. 
but these are corn sticks and they are cylinder shaped with a crispy crunchy texture the taste of these corn sticks is balanced between salty and sweet salty and sweet again no well hopefully they're better than those they smell a lot better oh i just totally like jacked up the entire bag my bad no oh my god y'all i'm shook mm. yo <laughs> oh my god Yo, you know what these taste like? I'm shook. They're not they're not salty at all. They're sweet. Oh my god. It tastes like cereal. It tastes like um like pop cereal. Gotta have my pops, you know? That's what it tastes like. Oh my god. I am shook. I'm gonna eat the whole bag, honestly, like. A few moments later. They really remind me of cereal and I'm not mad at that whatsoever. I'm just saying they taste so good. All right, so next up is this weird looking thing. This one here is Mishka Kosolapi by Krasny Oktiaber. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's in Russia, I am sorry. This is a chocolate wafer cookie glazed in milk chocolate with almond praline between layers of wafers in production since 1966. The chocolate has been a favorite for generations. All right, y'all know I love me some chocolate. And let me tell you so far, Croatia has the best chocolate. So I'm pretty pumped right now. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Let's see what Russia has to offer, okay? Mmm, all right. Okay, so, mmm, this is really good. I'm definitely gonna finish it. It doesn't, for me, it doesn't beat Croatia whatsoever. I mean, just with this one here. I haven't tried all their chocolate, obviously, but this one tastes like a stale Kit Kat. I mean, I don't know if that's what the intention was. It just tastes like you left your Kit Kat sitting out for a while and it's just now gone stale. Which, I mean, it still tastes like a Kit Kat. Kit Kat tastes good. It's just, the crunch is weird to me. It's not like a crunchy crunch. It's more of a stale crunch. If that makes any sense at all, I don't know. Okay, so next up, it looks like we have some more chocolate. This one here is Wafer Candies by Rot Front, okay? Uh, it says here that it is a chocolate glazed wafer candy with multiple layers of wafers in a bite size. These wafers are some of the most beloved wafers in Russia. Okay, awesome. So, these are apparently the bomb.com in Russia. So, let's see. Chocolate again. I <laughs> love me some chocolate. You already know. I break out when I eat chocolate, but it's totally fine because I already filmed the video. So, I'm not going to like... It's fine, you know? <laughs> okay. Crunch alert. Mmm. Okay. Well... This is really good too. This one's definitely more of a crunch. However, this doesn't taste like anything really. I mean, I taste the chocolate obviously, but I don't taste anything like with the wafer. I don't know if there's like a filling in between any of the wafers. I don't know. It's not bad though. Mm-hmm. It's good. And we're moving on. We have these cookies here. It is baked milk flavor. Okay, I don't understand what that means, but it says here that these cookies bake milk flavor. Baked milk flavor? I don't understand what that means, first of all. It's by Rot Front again. They are square shaped cookies with a creamy, milky flavor. These cookies are crunchy in texture with a light, sweet taste, and they go great with milk or coffee. Bomb. I'm a really big fan of coffee, as we probably all know by now. So. Maybe I'll add these to my routine. Who knows? Oh, they're broken. I hate when that happens. Anyways, this is what part of it looks like. So it's basically like a biscuit cookie and then chocolate on the bottom. So let's see. Mmm, these are so good. Yo, okay. Mmm. 
You know what these taste like? Cookie just broke on me. How dare you? These taste like the Keebler Stripe cookies, the Fudge Stripe cookies. They taste exactly like that, like spot on. They're so good though. I love them. Totally just made a huge mess on my floor because it broke on me, but they're still bomb. I would eat it. I need me some more of the pops though. These are delicious. Okay, so it looks like the rest of the items left are chocolate items, which I'm totally down for. Like I said, we know I love chocolate, yada yada. This here is, um, where's it at? <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Oh, okay. This one here is Alenka Milk Chocolate. So this one is a popular chocolate in Russia. It has been making chocolate since 1851, and their chocolate is an all-time favorite for many generations of Russia. Okay, cool. So I think this is just like a chocolate wafer as well. It said that it's just chocolate, but it looks like a wafer on the picture. I don't know if y'all can tell, if you can focus on that camera. You know, I've had this camera for a while and I still really don't know how to use it. I think it's focused, so you can tell. It looks kind of like a cookie or something, so we shall see, I don't know. Ooh, kind of smells like coffee to me. Is it just like a huge, oh, okay. Ooh, the texture's weird. Okay, um, it feels like a chocolate covered marshmallow. Like, I can literally squish it. That's what it is. Okay, well, it's good at least. The texture just freaks me out a little bit because I was expecting a cookie and it's like mushy. Um, so it tastes like chocolate hazelnut, honestly, to be honest. It tastes like kind of like coffee, too and marshmallow or cake or something. It's really good though. I'll give it a shot. All this chocolate is like going everywhere on my floor. It's just crumbling. I don't understand. Like get it together, Russia, please. Okay, so next up we have this Korovka wafer stick with condensed milk flavor. These are uh, wafer sticks glazed in chocolate, sweet in flavor, crunchy in texture. You can enjoy them with milk coffee or on their own for a mouth-watering treat. And they are flavored with um, condensed milk, so that's pretty cool. Um, condensed milk, if y'all don't know, it's just like a base, base, like a really sweet milk. So I'm expecting very, very sweet right now with the condensed milk and the chocolate together. If I can open it, it's like not working for me. Oh, awkward. Okay. Mmm, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these. I don't want to overdo it, you know. Gotta save room for the pop. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so. Okay, well, they don't smell the best, let me tell you that. Okay, well, they're not expired. They just really don't smell good. I think it's a condensed milk. Maybe condensed milk has a weird smell. I don't know. I've never smelled condensed milk. I mean, I've baked with it before and stuff, but I've never actually, like, smelt it. These are very sweet. Like, I thought they were going to be condensed milk. It's, like, the sweetest thing ever. If you've ever tasted it, it's basically just milk and sugar, honestly. I feel like I would totally love those if it didn't smell really weird. That's just me. All right, next we have a chocolate bar with fondant cream filling. Fondant cream filling. Awesome. Okay. So this one here is a classic chocolate bar in Russia. It is considered by many Russians to be a must-have chocolate. When you bite into it, the fondant cream filling will melt in your mouth. Okay, awesome. I am down, so let us see. Oh, they're like little little bars. Oh. Mmm. Smells like dark chocolate, and I love dark chocolate. Mmm. Yo, that's good. This is really good, actually. I'm definitely not mad at this whatsoever. Okay, so next up we have this here, Alenka Milk Chocolate Bar. This one is one of the most popular chocolates in Russia as well. Um, it's by Krasny uh, Oktyabr, which we've already tried one from them before. It says here that they have been making chocolate since 1851 and their chocolate is an all-time favorite for many generations of Russians. So, that is a pretty dope. But does the American like it? Let's find out. Mmm, yo. <laughs> that is really good. I'm gonna take another bite. Mmm. 
OMG, I'm definitely waking up with a bunch of pimples tomorrow because of this chocolate, but I have no regrets, none. Okay, and lastly we have this candy bar here. This one is Iris or Iris Crepish with nuts. Um, this one is also by Krasny Octaber. I don't know how to say that name. I'm so sorry to any Russians who are watching. Please don't hate me. I just don't know how to pronounce these words. Um, this one here. Oh, this one's a toffee candy that comes in the form of a bar. The toffee is embedded with roasted peanuts, giving it a unique taste loved by both children and adults. All right. Well, I am both a child and an adult, so I'm excited. Oh, so this is like separate into bars too. Mmm. Oh my god. This tastes like mm, like heaven. I don't even know. <laughs> this tastes like those Mexican candies that like you like try to like not break in the package. I don't know if I'm like saying that right. Basically, it's like these little candies. There's something something with the rose, Della Rose, or I don't know what it's called, but it's like a little circle, right? And it's basically like this texture that I'm eating right now, but it's very crumbly and everybody tries to like eat it like whole without it breaking, but it always breaks, you know what I'm saying? So comment down below if you know what I'm talking about because I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. It's just, it's good. So yeah, that was pretty much all of the food that I got from Russia from TriTreats.com. I loved every single one of them. I mean, I didn't hate any one of them. I, I mean, to say that I love them would be like an overstatement, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely enjoyed all of them, I would say that. Like, I definitely would eat all of these over again, except for those Asian snack rice things. I, I didn't like those. I lied. I hated those. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my vlog channel. There's actually going to be a giveaway coming very very soon a huge giveaway i hope you like gold that is the only type of hint that you're going to get until the actual giveaway is announced and one of the requirements is to be subscribed to this channel and to be subscribed to my main channel which will be linked down below also trytrees.com does have a custom coupon code for my little unicorns here you can use the code joseph anthony for i believe it's 10 percent off your first box if you haven't tried try treats then you definitely should um that's pretty much it thank you for watching I love you very freaking much. I'll see you next time. Bye. I still don't know how to end this vlog channel. Like, should I end it the same way that I end my main channel videos? I just...